Welcome guys, I'm Al. I'm Arash. And this is the Call of Whiskey. All oh, hail cow. cow. Today we're talking about the Lagavulin Nick Offerman Guinness Cask Edition. Oh, I'm so excited. Very much so. Let's take a look. <laughs> Welcome back. So today's whiskey is an Isla Single Malt. Uh, we don't know much about it. We know that it's 46% ABV, so we can assume that it's non-chill filtered. We know that the original was uh, natural coloring, so we can assume that this is natural coloring as well. No uh, A150. Yeah, yeah, so we'll, ma we'll make that assumption. We have no confirmation one way or the other. Uh, it was aged in 11 years in ex bourbon cast and then finished in Guinness uh, beer cast for uh, four months. Mm. So I know you're going to enjoy this. I'm excited. I love a good stout, yep. so I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. Mm -hmm. And I love Lago Valen and... Uh, Nick Offerman. So let's take a look. Let's do it. History time. Actor Nick Offerman, widely known for his role as a Lagavulin loving, steak eating Ron Swanson in the TV show Parks and Rec. February 96. The steak, ribeye. The whiskey, Lagavulin 16. The lady next to me, a bitch. Has in real life always been a great fan of Lagavulin, so much so that he was given the honor of his own bottling. The 11 year old Offerman edition, and now second edition of his limited edition bottlings is here again. This most recent partnership with Guinness and Lagavulin was an homage to his beer drinking father for Father's Day. And we can't imagine a better Father's Day present than this. Almost brings a tear to your eye. All right, let's take a look at those. It's got a smoky, uh, smokiness right off the bat. Mm hmm. You're definitely getting that sea brine. Thank you. Roasted coffee. They promise vanilla, and I definitely smell the vanilla on it. Uh, the ocean brine is mm. just overwhelming for me. Let's take a look at the pellet. Well, it's definitely creamy. You're definitely getting that uh, that Guinness note. Oh yeah. This is um, it's a different whiskey. Yeah, it's and and it's not like. The 11 original. The 11 original was definitely more like a peppercorn steak and meteor. This is a softer cream vanilla all day long. I, this is, I, I'm having a hard time even describing this whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, the, the Guinness cask really puts mm -hmm. an edge to it that's mm -hmm. not expected. Mm -hmm. I was expecting a meteor, uh, like bacon, uh, like the original 11 and I'm getting a little bit of barbecue, but it's it's cream and vanilla all day. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste mm -hmm. is that vanilla you're speaking mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. and brine from the uh, smell I was smelling. Mm -hmm. A bit of spiciness, just a touch, mm -hmm. not as uh, pronounced as the other whiskeys we've had. Yeah, and it's not dry. Uh, this is this is different. This is. Most most of the time you're expecting Lagavulin to have like certain notes and those notes that I'm expecting from Lagavulin uh, are subdued by that Guinness cast. Mm. It really, four months made a big difference on this. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm loving it. Um, It's different. Yeah. It's yeah. not what you, I was expecting, no, but I'm really no, enjoying no, no, it. No. It's um, It's got a smooth uh, uh, texture to it. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, it's it, a little light and fluffy. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's not what I was expecting. Mm -mm. After the um, second or third taste, yeah. you could taste a little bit of smoke. Yeah, a little bitter. Uh, it's a little bitter. Um, it almost dries out a little on your palate. Um, not too dry, though. No, 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 no. Because all that cream. Mm -hmm. That cream just, you know. Let's take a look at some water. Thank you. Vanilla cream. Yeah, it's almost Irish. It's uh, it's almost like an Irish whiskey. Just like that, and you, you don't have the same biscuit note, but that vanilla like and honey, uh, you know. I feel like I'm at a malt shop. Mm. Mm. Getting some sort of a, as, mm. a, as a kid slash adult yeah. beverage. And that coffee note, it's like coffee, vanilla, creamer. It's got a more pronounced spiciness with mm. the water added to it. I'm not quite sure what it's uh, bringing out, mm -hmm. the water, mm -hmm. but... Um, it's nice. Uh, no, no dryness for me. Mm. This is uh, not mm. dry. It's not a dry whiskey mm. at all. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try some ice. Yes. That cream, you know, yeah, it became even creamier with the ice. It's a unique whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's a unique whiskey. Mm -hmm. I, I'm liking it, but you have to be in a mood for it. Yeah, and it's not Lagavulin. Like no. it's, it's not a traditional Lagavulin. Um, if you know, 
you have to be ready for something different from, uh, which is nice because Lagavulin, you know, they don't stray too far. They're very from, traditional. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very traditional. They, 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 they branch off a little, you know, they add a little sherry here and then, and, and they, and they change their ages a little, but they're very, they're very down the road, very, you know, very traditional. This is the most unique Lagavulin I've ever had. Um, you know, get your hands on it while, you, while it's out there. Uh, give it a try at least. Yeah, uh, and once. when you look at the uh, different types of Lagavulins out there, you know, mm. uh, like you said, they're traditional, you have an expectation, you mm. have something, an 8, 11, mm. a 16 mm. year, yeah. you kind of know what you expect, uh, mm. w what you're going to get, mm. and then you have this amazing Guinness cast finished with it, and mm. it just just throws the whole thing out the yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. it's very different, it's very yeah. different. In a good way. Yeah. So how much does this go for? Uh, well, right now it's eighty to ninety-five, and I actually paid this up for seventy-five bucks. So, uh, depending on where you are, you know, it's it's Diageo, so they're gonna have pretty standard uh, releases everywhere. Um, eighty to ninety-five bucks, it, it's worth it. And uh, you know, the the original eleven was uh, about a hundred, closer to hundred when they first released it. So it's a little cheaper actually than the uh, the first and the. Uh, a lot in the Nick Offerman edition. Well, as a father, I would appreciate this as a gift. Mm. Straight up. I think uh, I think your son is, what, two years old? Three years old? I would still appreciate <laughs> it as a gift. I don't care how he gets his <laughs> Hook it up, son. I don't know. <laughs> so, before we uh, uh, move on to our toast, can we both agree that this obviously belongs top shelf? At least... For me, it's Lagavulin, so you don't have to twist my arm to put it on the top <laughs> shelf. It's got a cute story. It's got a great box. It's got a nice bottle. If this is your thing, if you like that creamy note, I'd put this on the top shelf for sure. Yeah. On that note, the only thing left to do is cue our favorite Ron Swanson quote and fade out. All, all hail, hail cow. cow. Just give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Wait, wait. I worry what you just heard was give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was. Give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Do you understand? If you want more videos like this, join the cult today by liking and subscribing.